before you see the movie about an evil fictional technology company. See the story of Facebook, a real-life evil technology company. The Social Network. Experience the world's smartest film about the world's dullest premise. Did you answer affirmatively when Tyler and Cameron Winklevoss and Divya Narendra asked you to build Harbor Connection? Did you say yes? In this dark Shakespearean drama about the website your crazy aunt posts minion memes on that uses snappy dialogue. I deserve your attention. You have part of my attention. You have the minimum amount. Slick directing and great performances to make a story where young millionaires sue each other for more money feel really high stakes. What was your ownership share diluted down to? 0.03%. That's still millions, you greedy asshole. Gah! I'd sell my kidney for 0.03% of Neopets. Journey to Harvard, where no one ever lets you forget. It's Harvard. This is John Harvard. We're gentlemen of Harvard. Girls want to go with guys who go to Harvard. 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 This is Harvard. And meet Mark Zuckerberg, a star student with the mind of a calculator, the heart of a troll. Erica Albright's a bitch. And the wardrobe of a comfy hobo. He's determined to do two things with his life. Make the world respect him and make sure Jesse Eisenberg gets every awkward know-it-all nerd role in Hollywood. Take that, Michael Sarah. <laughs> Coasting off Mark's talent are a succession of hot dudes in suits, like Eduardo, the only Brazilian who doesn't know how to party. You think this is such a good idea? You think maybe we shouldn't shut it down before we get into trouble? You want to end the party at 11? I'm trying to pay for the party. Sean Parker, the man on the side who gets in the way of their bromance, and the Winklevi, who briefly got your hopes up that Army Hammer had an identical twin. Or to put it another way, Lex Luthor dumps Spider-Man for NSYNC and pisses off the Lone Ranger. If you want to know the real story behind Facebook, watch something else, because they're bending the truth harder than the news your uncle posts on his wall. In a film that makes up the ex-girlfriend who supposedly inspired the site, makes up an obsession with final clubs that tears Mark's friendships apart. Tell me this isn't about me getting into the Phoenix. And makes him into an awkward scowling robot where in real life he was a normal dorky college kid. Within a couple of weeks, two thirds of the school had signed up. So at that point, my roommates were kind of like, you know, this is pretty cool. Like, I bet this would work at other schools. But hey, don't let facts get in the way. I'm sure the real Sean Parker loved seeing himself as a paranoid, coked out, cowardly, maybe sort of statutory rapist. How old were they, Sean? It's not polite to ask. Sean, how old were they? So gather round for a film that's not really about Facebook, it's about friendship that still nails what it's like to use the website. In this masterpiece of craft that proves Aaron Sorkin could make boring litigation exciting. He stole our whole goddamn idea. Fellas. David Fincher could make applying for an internship look awesome. Welcome to Facebook. <laughs> and Trent Reznor could make rowing down a calm river feel epic. Man, I wish they'd make another Facebook movie. It's a sentence I'd never thought I'd say in this lifetime. Starring Jesse Eisenberg as himself, Andrew Garfield, the Brazilian Jew, Tim from Jurassic Park, the cloned ranger, a single shade of gray, he's a dick who knows das, and all the laptops who gave their lives so David Fincher could get the perfect shot. Side Club. I know it's realistic and everything, but trying to understand Sorkin dialogue in a loud bar is like your grandma trying to understand how Facebook works. No, Nana, the search bar is not the same as the status update. Gah! Thanks for watching. Click the boxes above for more honest trailers. And let us know what movie you'd like to see get the honest treatment in the comments below. If you guys were the inventors of Facebook, you'd have invented Facebook. Yo, Danny Fenton, he was just 14 when his parents built a strange machine. I've got to get back, back to the past. Samurai Jack, hula hula, I am a nugget. I tune into Honest Trailers week after week, waiting for my comment to be read out. I just want my mother to be proud of me.